right, so you've decided to go on holiday for a few days or a week. What are we going to do with our fish tank? Today, we're going to find out. The Fish Room, helping you keep beautiful aquariums. So you've decided to go on a holiday or go away for a few days, and now you don't know what to do with your fish tank. Today I'm going to give you five tips on what you can do with your fish tank when you go on a holiday. Let's do this. Tip number one, don't do nothing. Seems a bit stupid, but yeah. So, honestly, I believe if you're only going away for two or three days, like a long weekend or something like that, you really do not need to do absolutely anything with your aquariums. Um, just pretty much lock up your house, walk away. Your fish will be fine not having a feed for a couple of days. As long as you are, you know, generally keeping good fish husbandry um, type stuff, regular water changes, uh, servicing your equipment and stuff like that, for the course of three days, nothing is going to go wrong. Touch wood. That's not wood. Touch wood. Nothing is going to go wrong in a, in a couple of days' time, generally speaking. So my first bit of advice, if you're only going for a very short period of time, is just do nothing. Tip number two. If you're only going away for a few days, Rapashi, 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 oops, there we go, is your friend. The way that it works is it breaks down in your water column. It doesn't go rotten, it doesn't go moldy. So if you feed a good quantity of Rapashi the day that you go, just before you go, your fish are going to get a feed, and then they're going to disperse. And then they're going to feed again later in the afternoon, or later in the morning, or whenever it is that you leave, and then they're going to disperse. And they're going to continue. Then eventually, they'll have their fill, they'll stop eating it, and they've got a little bit of extra food to last them longer, as opposed to just dumping a whole whack of uh, pellet or whatever in your aquarium. If they feed on it, it turns to night time, they wake up in the morning, lights come on on your timers or whatever, and it's still there, they'll feed on it. The food's not going to go off, it's not going to go rotten, it's going to cause any issues in your aquarium. It's just going to eventually break down, get sucked into your filter, everything's good to go. So if you're going away for a few days, good feeder of Parshi, just before you go, it's going to definitely help this issue. What issue? It's not an issue. It's going to help you get through a little weekend period away. Tip number three, feeder blocks. I personally haven't tried these myself, so I can't give you word for word whether or not they're good or not. But now that I've said that, I'm definitely going to give these a home when I get back from my holiday. What I can tell you is that we sell a truckload of, in particular, these Tetra weekend blocks, and we've had nobody come back and complain about them. So that tells me that they're obviously doing something good. So if you're a little bit concerned about the amount of food that your fish are going to get, give these Tetra Weekend Blocks a hoon. Um, I've seen other ones which are like those white powder type blocks. From my understanding they're absolute rubbish, but these, this one here is actually made of proper fish food. And I believe that it breaks down a heck of a lot slower and the fish get a decent fill of it. So if you're worried about feeding and you're going away for four or five days, give these a hoon. Tip number four. And by far, my favourite one, and the one that I'm about to embrace, using these little pill boxes. You might need a couple depending on the size of your aquariums, but they work absolutely handily. Hey, can you please come over and feed my fish on Monday, Wednesday, Thursday, Sunday? You put the quantity that you want your fish to be fed in here, you close it, and give strict instructions, please feed this amount on this day. This stops absolutely any possibility of your mate going, hey, food! <laughs> uh oh, wasted an entire container and destroyed your aquarium parameters. It's nice and simple, these are cheap. I got these for two bucks, so they're a dollar each. I could probably find them cheaper. You can probably find bigger ones, but for what I need, these are gonna be absolutely perfect. So I would definitely advise, if you're gonna get someone in to come look after your aquariums, fill boxes. Definitely well worth the two dollar investment. Tip number five, five, which I can't show you because I don't have any in stock. Uh, using auto feeders. Auto feeders are brilliant, but my one piece of advice if you're going to use them is to buy them well in advance of when you actually need them, so you can understand exactly how they work. Uh, get trying them yourself. Watch the function of them. See if they block up or they don't block up or what have you. Uh, make sure you've got fresh batteries and everything like that. Auto feeders are fantastic if you go away, but you have to know your auto feeder itself. Don't just go buy it, go away the next day, push the buttons and hope for the best. I definitely want to test them and give them a home before you really, really... Is that better? That was really annoying me. 
I've just got my hand on the aircraft. Sorry. Right. So yeah, did the auto feeders? Give them a go before you get hot, before you go away, and um, it'll give you a little bit of chance to get to know the machine itself. Uh, you definitely get what you paid for with auto feeders. Some are absolute junk. Others are really good. Uh, we carry the uh, Eheim ones. Generally speaking, I just don't have any at the moment to show you. Um, so that would be the one that I would highly encourage you giving a go of, which is the Eheim auto feeder. So there we go, there are my five tips for you to get through a holiday when you have aquariums. Just another little bit of advice, if you're going to go away for maybe a week and a half or something like that, uh, I would suggest a week before you go to clean out your filters, make sure all that's all tidied up and that kind of thing. Uh, if that means if there's any issue with a filter afterwards, you've got plenty of time to, to deal with it. And I always do a water change the day before that I head off. So... For example, I'm going away this Tuesday, I'm going to do my water change on Monday morning or possibly Sunday afternoon, which is today. That's to get that done just so I know that the water has lower nitrates to get me through the 10 days that I'm away for. If I was going away for a couple of days, I probably wouldn't bother too much, but anything over a week is when I, I make sure I do a water change and just uh, get everything where it needs to be before I go. So I hope you have enjoyed that, guys. If you have, please uh, like the video, share the video, and junk any comments you want in the comment section down below and I will answer anything you need me to answer. Other than that guys, I'm out of here. Have a good one. Happy fish keeping and catch you later.